This is a demo of a 3D printed Iron Man child prosthetic hand. The main objective was to create a hand that can help a child by solving a mechanical problem, looking awesome, and raise their self-esteem to superhero levels. There were three design goals. It had to look awesome, it had to perform awesome, and there would be no strings or mechanics that could distract from the visual impact. The fingers have a slight spread. It has a more powerful and visual appealing look. The angle also helps in grasping objects. And there's another reason you'll see later. On the top of the gauntlet is the cover for the tensioners. It snaps on and off. On the side is the electronics module. To put the hand on, snap off the electronics module and snap off the bottom of the gauntlet. Slide the arm into the Iron Man hand. There's anchor points for straps if needed. Snap the bottom of the gauntlet back on and snap on the electronics module. The hand functions when the child bends his hand down, the fingers close. Hands up, fingers open. Fingers closed, fingers open. Fingers closed, fingers open. The shield is another key characteristic of the Iron Man hand and it also houses cool weapons like a laser. It has a dual acting hinge slide mechanism. When you move the hand down it hinges, then it slides. Hinges, then it slides. It also hinges when the hand is tilted back. And when the two motions are done together, the mechanical movement is fascinating to watch. The hand is a container for all modern technology. It can incorporate microcontrollers, wireless devices, smart watches, sensors, accelerometers, NFC, RFID, and almost anything. This hand is configured with an Arduino, low power Bluetooth, a LiPo battery, a LiPo charger, LEDs, and RGB LEDs. It can even be voice controlled, as you'll see in a future video. The shield houses the lasers and is activated when the hand is bent down. Fire lasers. L lasers off. Fire lasers. Lasers off. Of course we could have put in real lasers, but this is for kids. Now comes the next reason why the fingers are slightly spread. When Iron Man makes that classic pose with his hand held out, fingers spread and the thruster is glowing, if the fingers weren't spread, it wouldn't have the same effect. Creating a hand with independent axis for each finger is more difficult but well worth it for the total effect. The bottom of the hand houses the thruster and it's activated by tilting the hand back like this. Jarvis thrusters on. Thrusters off. Thrusters on. thrusters off. This concludes this tech demo. And as you could see, we can put the fun in functional of a child's prosthetic hand. Thank you for watching.